Okay guys, I know the sun is out, but I'm trying to beat the sunset because it will be setting here in probably about an hour and a half and I have to clean out my chicken coop. It's time for me to get all of their bedding cleaned out. I've already got some put in the um, compost bin over here. And then I am also going to put a new bar in for a roost because right now they are getting into their laying boxes and sitting overnight and pooping all in them. And you do not want that because then they'll get poop on the eggs and the eggs will be dirty and it's just nasty. So I need to make another roosting bar. So watch me <laughs> clean up this nasty coop and put some more bedding down and get a new roosting bar in. Okay, so I'm in the chicken coop. And I look really bad because I am super, super hot because it is very humid today and very hot for it to be, um, I think it might be the 8th of October. Whew, hotness. So I'm going to just put this on fast mode and let y'all watch me clean out the chicken coop. there's not small particles that can get in the nostrils of the chickens because it's very easy for them to get respiratory infections and their nasal passages clogged um, with small particles. Even gnats can get in their nose in their nasal passages and um, make them have a lot of respiratory issues. So whenever you put any kind of bedding, chickens always use the ones that's for horses that are the bigger flakes and not <laughs> one thing when you do have these stored somewhere um like i have them stored in my greenhouse but if you have them stored where somewhere be very careful when you start sticking your hands in them because especially with the temperatures at night going down snakes have a tendency to get up in your bags and you don't want to get bit by a snake so be very careful with that that will reach from the north end to the south end of the coop so they'll be able to roost over here and away from their laying boxes. So let me go try to find a pole. Okay so I so far I haven't found a long one but I did find a short one that will go in the center here. That will at least give two more chickens a spot to be here and away from their laying boxes. So let me continue on. Okay, I found a pole. It is just going to anchor right here in the corner and I will get some wire and wire it in. And then it goes all the way down to the other side. So we're gonna have two more bars in the middle plus another bar out to the edge. And this is gonna give them a little more room to, um, to nest. I might change it just a little bit. You know what? I think I might go like this and put that there. Let's just figure this out for a second. Well, give me a minute. To give me some more room. I think I'll do it 
that way. I think I'll do it that way because then this will give the, all this room here and they still won't be in their nesting boxes. At least they'll be over on the um, board and they won't be sitting in their nesting boxes. They'll be sitting up here. So that'll give a good five or six more here, two there, two there. So I think that that's gonna work. Let me go find some um, wire and I'm gonna wire these in place. Okay, I found something even better. Zip ties. How awesome is that? Those can be so much easier than having to get my fingers all hurt with wires and trying to cut and all that. So I'm just going to get some zip ties. I don't know if you can see me down here. We'll try. I'm just going to go around several times with my zip ties. And then I'm going to put some more right here just to keep it stationary. They're not going to know what happened. Everybody get more space in here. We are going to have to build a bigger coop because we are getting more chickens. In November, we're getting some Americanas that come from a um, show line. And so we'll have to do another coop on that. And I think we're gonna cut out this area here and put it off towards their new running area. Cause we now have two running areas out where they can run around. I'll show you that at the end. But that looks good. I think that'll stay solid. Let's see if I, you can see me down there at the end. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going down here. The only thing that's gonna be bad is I always knock my head on the wood and these, when I'm bending down doing stuff, I'm gonna have to watch it. One of these days I'm gonna knock myself out. My husband's gonna find me in the chicken coop with chicken sitting on me. Okay, let's see how we're gonna do this. Um, I don't like me do. Okay. So there is a bar here, so I think I'm going to just add several zip ties together. Now that's just going to give it some extra stability here so it won't fall off. We got it good and tight there. Let me get over here and get some zip ties on that while I'm wiping sweat off my face. Welcome to Arkansas and the humidity. Oh. Gonna have to come back and cut those off so they don't get those poked in their eyes. Okay, so here is their original run, right here. And it is right behind the raised garden, which I still have my basil out for the bees, because they're still here. But this is their original run, and they were flying out, so we went ahead and put a second roll of chicken wire on. I said, that's not gonna work. Husband's like, yeah, 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 that'll work. I said, no, we're gonna have to get in the coop and cut their, their wings, which is just like clipping your fingernails. You just don't go too high. And when he was putting this last zip tie on, four of my legrins flew out. So I said, mm, that didn't work very well, did it? So no, but no, now they, when they fly out, they try to get in my greenhouse and roost in my greenhouse overnight. So I had to lock up my greenhouse every night now. So they're not too happy about that. But this is their original run. I believe it was a hundred feet long by eight feet wide. And then where the legern is right there, there is, we opened a little piece there. 
So this right here is one area and then where we planted our orchard um, earlier this spring, we put some cow panels around it and incorporated our orchard, which we have apple trees and pear trees, um, apple trees and peach trees. And um, this is another one and I think it's 16 feet wide and it's more like maybe 150 feet long because it goes all the way to the end of my greenhouse. So we've got it all the way down. We also do have a way to open the end down there so we can get in here with the tractor because we do get the old hay from where we feed our cattle and we put it in this one. And so when we want to move that into the old root um, run, we'll be able to come in here get the old hay that we've let them scatter around and rummage through. We'll move that to the old run and then they're composting that. And then when we're done with that, we put it over in the compost pile so that we'll have all of that for our garden in the spring. So this is the compost pile. As you can see, I've just put all of the um, shavings in it that were from the chicken coop. And we'll leave that there. But guys, thank you for joining me today with the chores for the chickens and the sweaty face and smeared mascara. And you can hear my husband, he's working on a project for me in the back, helping me out with some pumpkin projects. And um, if you like this video, comment below, give me a thumbs up and share. When you share and comment and um, subscribe that helps get my videos out to more people and that really helps my youtube channel grow and i thank you so much for that and guys make what you have beautiful and we'll see you next time